What's going on guys, Big Mike, the 717 Outback here today. So we are doing another video on the Busa, uh, the R6. We actually had sent out to have some work done to it that we couldn't do in house. So we're gonna be test fitting the body today. Now there are a couple things that we have to look at uh, for testing, which is with the body work, I don't know if anybody noticed, is that we are taking away the lighting assemblies on the bike's body. So. Like you can see on the tail, we don't have cutouts for the turn signals, no cutout for the tail light itself. The headlight, we don't have anything in there for the, for the headlight or for the turn signals. Uh, we still do have a little bit of the bump outs that the Hayabusa's are known for, the way the body line is. Uh, those, well actually I'll just show you what we're going to do with those. So I decided to make it a lightweight but still functional deal. So we went out and got some DOT approved uh, three quarter round lights. Uh, these are amber, they're smoked, so they're gonna look black on the bodywork. Uh, same with the brake lights, smoked red. And since you can't really do that with uh, white, you can't really do smoked and be legal in this state. So, We just went out and got just some standard white LEDs. So these will be a very lightweight option compared to the full lighting assemblies that are going on the bike and a lot easier to do because once I hook the plugs up, it's just when you go to take the bodywork off, it's just undo like two, maybe two or three plugs for each tail and front section and everything should come off. And just like I said, we're trying to shave some weight off. Now, the other thing that I did the other day, because I'm tempted to rearrange some where weight is, this battery is pretty light. It's a firepower, featherweight, um, lithium battery. So this was the one that I ran for the season, but unfortunately I had some issues with, uh, I think my boost gauge was drawing power, so it kind of killed it. But I know some companies make these boxes, but I'm thinking we're gonna end up putting the battery right here up front because we don't have a headlight. So we have room that we can take advantage of up here. So I might be able to put the battery here, get it out of the tail section, and then the tail section, kind of ignore those wires. I'm ripping some stuff out right now that we aren't gonna need this coming season. Uh, we can hopefully put some of this stuff, the Launch Master, the Power Commander's coming out, the MPS, uh, kill box we might be able to stick that stuff down there and free up a lot of space in the tail We are still waiting on our tiger racing undertail Which should make this a lot easier because it won't have as much as much of this It'll be pretty flush with the bottom of the subframe and just make it a lot cleaner of an install But we got some things to do, but those will come later. Let's go ahead and try and get this body fitted We're gonna pull the stock tank off and get this new one fitted with the bracket for the tank and get the bike set up. Guys, well, I cut the time lapse a little short. My camera actually got a little screwy with me. We got the old tank off, uh, took the bracket off. We actually had to drain the tank. That took a little bit of time. So we took the OEM bracket off the old tank which this tank we're actually going to be stripping the logos and everything off of it and sending that off to get painted as well but got the old bracket off i'm going to go ahead and mount the bracket on the new tank i still have to get fittings for the new tank yet but we're going to go ahead and get this thing fitted and see what it looks like all right guys so we got the tank relatively in place i haven't drilled out the holes yet uh, i'm not too worried about those i'm going to worry about those when they're painted or once the tank gets painted i'm going to go ahead and put these bolts in on the back of the tank but as you can see though how much lower the tank sits on it now but let's go ahead and get these couple bolts back in and then we'll get the tail on the front end and we'll get kind of a final idea as to what this is going to look like Even though it's 
that's not pain, that's what I'm going to scratch it. Oh god, that's so low. I can actually use the windscreen now. Before I couldn't, because I couldn't get low enough, the windscreen was just there. No, that's good for me. It's a lot more sleek. Huh? The seat will be better once it's bolted too because it's shifted on there. The one thing I want to do to it though is take like door weather stripping and run it around the edge so that way it's not rubbing. It's like cushioning. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather I'd rather do this as to push the seat down and then run the screws through than the seat to just be like, like tapping on it. Yeah. As you can see, we got all the body work fitted on the bike everything lined up pretty good um luckily catalyst with all these like they do these little pre-drills they kind of give you this little divot so we were able to just run our holes in through there uh these in like inset ones they did not pre-drill or have that little dip so i just did a little pilot hole and then ran my step bit down through same thing for here and here but i mean just for running so the tail if i go to take this off anytime during racing to mess with the the kill box the two-step anything like that take these technically four screws out the whole tail will come off um the seat standard it'll be the standard bolts we just use the stock position um but for just being those two bolts I mean, it's it's pretty rigid. Don't need any more reinforcing through the subframe or anything. Uh, same with the front end. It's just one, two, three, and then four, five, and then six down underneath. So everything mounts up really nice. I mean, this is really good body work. Very rigid, so it's not... I, I was a little afraid of fiberglass having a little bit of give, and I thought that it would need more bolt points, but I mean... It doesn't move at all. And I like too is that this has, um, it follows the shape in here. So it still does help funnel that air to your motor, to your radiator. You don't need to take the extra plastics and try to rig them in there to make them work. But for the most part, everything went together smooth. The tank's on. Uh, I'm gonna wait, cause this stuff's gonna go out for paint. And then while while it's out, I'm gonna go ahead and try and clean up some of this wiring because since we took the Ram Airs out, I have some space to run wiring in other locations. So I can clean up this uh, and get the tank a bit more flush onto the frame. Uh, some of this stuff here will probably get addressed once the tank sits lower. But for the most part, she's ready to go. Uh, we'll be stripping this stuff off and we will have it all off at the shop getting a fresh coat of paint uh, i'm pretty sure though the final uh, paint scheme that we're going to go with is going to be the java black pearl from subaru uh, i think it was only out for 04 05 06 stis i believe so it's kind of a rare color i saw a couple of them in person and it's a very nice kind of color changer in the in the in dark it looks or low light it looks black in the sun it has a really nice gold flake in it so uh we're gonna end up running that and i can't wait to see how the bike's gonna look when it's all done uh, we also do the one other piece of the bodywork that isn't in yet is we do have a carbon fender coming uh it did get placed on back order unfortunately but it's getting to be right about the time that the back order should be done. They should be coming into stock here soon. And we'll have that ready for when the bike gets back from paint. But anyway, guys, we got everything fitted. Uh, a couple little things to clean up, but the bike is looking good. And this bodywork will make it a lot easier at the track. A lot more accessibility, letting heat out of the bike. My biggest thing is messing with the clutch. Uh, here and there it sucks to have to tear all the side fairings off just to get to the clutch but the entire clutch is exposed we also have like i said venting for the motor uh, it'll allow our air mover sit it here and blow air directly underneath 
and help keep the bike nice and cool. But we're all done, guys. And that new tank, hell, it's lower than the tail. So we're going to really be able to tuck in there pretty good. So anyway, like I said, guys, if you like the video, if you did, give a thumbs up. If you know anything more about the body work, anything of you have this kind of body work and you are asking any fitment, go ahead and drop those comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, hit that subscribe button, a little bell next for notifications, and I will see you guys in the next upload, which will hopefully be when we get the R6 back. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Remember, ride safe, ride smart, always wear a helmet. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.